Hello champs, my name is Muhammad Sami and today we are going to start discussing logistics extraction in SAP BW. This video is first of a series of videos that will help us understand logistics extraction in SAP BW. I have taken the example of sales and distribution to drive home concepts and examples easily since sales is something that many of us easily understand. So buckle up and let the journey begin. Before we go into the nitty gritty of extraction, the underlying structures and stuff, let's first try and understand a little bit about the sales and distribution module itself. After all, the end goal is to provide users with reports and it will help us if we have a better understanding of their world. Okay, let's go ahead now. Sales and distribution is primarily divided into sales, shipping and billing. Now these are some functions. Mind you, there are many operations around these major functions like inquiries, quotations, payments, etc. But we are just going to concentrate on the three to keep it simple and drive home our point. The others are similar and should, should be easy to learn with a little bit of an effort. So let's start. Sales. Sales function enables user to accept and enter customer orders in the system. And what comes after sales? Shipping of course. Check the inventory, create an outbound delivery and post the goods issue in the system. That is, you have received an order and you are ready to ship it. You, you just check whether you have it in your inventory and you create delivery information for that like the address of the customer and stuff and you post the goods issue that is you have posted that this is available and you are going to give it to the customer in your system that's what the shipping module does also called the delivery or the distribution module and then the billing of course you want money for what you for what you give the customer so billing function enables invoice creation and customer billing per defined per the defined contracts and pricing conditions now just it just means that you know you might have some customers that you like very much so you might have uh, given them certain discounts now all these are automatically factored into as sales and distribution module you have cu per customer pricing and that can be utilized directly during the billing each of these functions are in fact mini modules in themselves and they and have their own t codes and internal tables now for a business user the underlying tables or when i say business users it's someone who is actually using these systems someone who is entering a sales order for example he might not need to know all the tables that are relevant he might not even uh, need to know the underlying structures or the program he just needs to know a transaction code that brings up a screen where he can enter certain values that he understands from a business perspective and he can just save the sales order now he doesn't need to know whether his data is saved in one table or ten tables but us as bw consultants we might find our lives better if we have a good understanding of these underlying structures and tables so let's now have a look at some of these structures First, the primary or the mission critical tables. First, the sales order creation. When you create a sales order, you use ideally a user uses the T codes VA01, VA02 and so on and so forth. This particular T code or this function rather writes data to tables such as VBAK and VBAP. The billing function via the T code VF01 and VF02 writes to the tables VBRK and VBRP and similarly the shipping function is using the T codes VL01 and VL02 writes to the tables VTTK and VTTP and so on and so forth. Now the tables that we discussed the VBAK, VBAP, VBRK and so on are primary and they, are, they have a controlling function uh, inside these modules. Now apart from these mission critical tables or also called the primary tables, the SD module also updates certain statistical tables which serve the purpose of instant and small scale reporting within the SAP R3 system. For example, with the T code VA05, it brings up a list of all the sales orders in the system. You know, these uh, reports help in tracking certain important aspects of logistics are grouped together and called logistic information systems. Now in our case since we are talking about the sales and distribution module it's called the sales information system. All this data is stored redundantly in tables such as S001, S002 and so on. You can just go ahead and read those on the screen 
because you need to understand which ones are the statistical tables and what is their general naming convention versus which are the primary tables and what is their general name, naming convention okay take a moment to identify the primary mission critical tables and secondary statistical tables okay now that we have seen the optimization in the database level that is the table organization for the sales and distribution module let us go ahead and see how sap optimizes processing of data to achieve excellent or you know at least acceptable turnaround times in logistics applications the update modules in ecc now before we go ahead let's just understand a term called the logical unit of work or luw just remember that luw or a logical unit of work is a cohesive grouping of actions even if one of those actions fails the entire bunch is cancelled and rolled back in the database v1 update now v1 being the most trusted of them takes on the responsibility of ensuring that upon successful confirmation of a function that is for example creation of a sales order the primary tables that is the vba k vba p etc are updated with the entered data now once that is accomplished it signals a confirmation message to the user and releases all logs that it acquired on the tables now from here on the little guy v2 takes charge and updates the same data redundantly to the statistical tables as we had learnt earlier the s series the s001 s002 and so on and so forth now though now that's the normal activity happens in the r3 system the v3 updates some more tables called the bw statistical tables for extraction into sap bw now enough about that let's just quickly see how it all sits with los extraction a user enters and saves a sales document whose data is fed to the application tables vbak vbap along with the bw's internal structures mc vbak and mc vbap which together form a communication structure the data source then is just a combination of extraction structures which is you know more or less a copy of the communication structure the transfer structure which is only those fields that you have chosen to show in your extraction or and the extractor itself which is just a piece of code that decides the extraction logic now as we all know the data source is then replicated into bw and uh, uh, once the data is extracted it sits there in the psa before it is consumed by the info providers and you know from there into the reports there you go guys now that's it for now in the next video we'll discuss how to set up the data source for extraction uh, from an lo cockpit and how to influence delta extraction behavior using lo cockpit thanks for watching and tune in again see you soon uh, if you have any queries suggestions anything you know just a chit chat you can uh, contact me on s, s, -S a m i h a s s a n dot m d at gmail dot com thank you very much